I'm John Bachman. Officials have charged a Dallas teenager today with the deadly shooting of an Iraqi refugee in Texas. Police say this is a suspect right here. 17 year old Nikirian Nealon. Authorities say he gunned down Imad al Jumali last week, who had just moved to the United States to reunite with his wife. We don't believe uh, that he knew Mr. al Jumali. We don't believe he uh, knew Mr. al Jumali's uh, ethnicity. Now, Muslim leaders in the Dallas-Fort Worth area had suspected that Jumali was targeted because of his ethnicity. His family members say he was outdoors watching his first snowfall. Omar Gonzalez, the man accused of jumping the White House fence last year, has pleaded guilty to federal charges today. The Iraqi war vet admits to illegally entering the White House and carrying a dangerous weapon. He also pleaded guilty to assaulting a Secret Service agent. Gonzalez scaled the White House fence back in September, ran past security, and was able to make it all the way inside the presidential mansion. The military has now released the names of the Special Forces Marine, Marines who were killed during that nighttime training mission off the coast of Florida's Panhandle. You see the names right here on the screen. These are the seven Marines. They were all stationed in Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. In total, 11 service members were killed when that Black Hawk went down in dense fog. Officials recently found wreckage from the crash, including human remains. Officials have not yet released the names of four National Guard soldiers who also died in that crash. Newly released video shows the moment three British schoolgirls crossed Turkey's border into Syria. The footage was allegedly captured by a Syrian spy working for ISIS. It's now unclear exactly how it was recorded why it's been released. The girls are 15 and 16 years old and are believed to have joined the terror group. Turkish officials have also detained that spy who shot the video. Doctors in South Africa successfully carry out the world's first transplant of, well, a male organ. The, uh, the penis was harvested from a donor whose family consented and uh, retransplanted it in a nine-hour operation. Now you heard that right. It happened. A 21-year-old man had to undergo this procedure after a botched circumcision, circumcision ritual. It's estimated that hundreds of these rituals end badly each and every year. And alumni of the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity may be planning to sue the University of Oklahoma. Attorney Stephen Jones, who once represented Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh, says he's been hired by members of the organization. The group's alumni believe the university went too far by closing the house and expelling two students. That video posted online earlier this week sparked uproar when it exposed SAE members singing raci racial chants on a school bus. The two expelled students have since apologized. And tomorrow, the streets of Miami, Florida will be shut down so these so-called E or Formula E electric cars can make it around the city there. It speeds up to 126 miles per hour. It looks like a Formula One race. It won't sound quite the same with those electric engines. Another update coming up for you in 30 minutes. Now back to the Steve Malsberg Show.